Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here, and right now what you guys are watching is the Mono for Three Tips video, and uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and cover uh, salt kill streaks. But before I go ahead and do that, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit because I, I've spoken to a number of you, and I've heard that live commentaries are something that you guys would love to watch. And uh, I know that commentaries can be pretty boring, especially if they're scripted. And it does sound like I'm just talking over this video, which I am right now, to be honest. But uh, you know, there's only so much I can do. You know, I I, I don't use the script. And uh, I, I use bullets here and there, you know, to, to kind of guide my commentary. But for the most part, I just wing it. And, uh, you know, while it, it does sound a little bit, little bit better than, you know, reading, I did do this, and I need to do this, and I would love to do this. You know, it, while, while it does sound a little, little bit better than that, you know, it doesn't exactly cut the bill as far as, like, a live commentary goes. And uh, those are relatively entertaining to watch. I have a number of problems with those though. Uh, first, whenever I play, I tend to concentrate a shit ton, and that concentration is only broken up by me dying. And uh, so whenever I'm playing, uh, typical listen, I get, the, the, the typical listen in, I guess you would say, you would hear me bitch right here and say, oh, this kid killed me before he was even fucking ADS, you know. He was hip firing basically, and he fucking killed me in two shots, you know. And I'll say something like that. A number of times a game, you know, well, because, well, you know, I will die a few times a game, obviously. And, uh, you know, uh, aside from that, you might hear me say, oh, hey, Cody, or so-and-so, check out uh, around that corner, there's a guy, like, right over there behind you. And, uh, you know, just call-outs here and there. And, uh, it would be a little bit harder to do, like, a regular commentary because uh, I don't have that consistent train of thought that I do right now. And... Uh, I wouldn't know what to talk about. Do I talk about the gameplay? Because with that, you'll have gaps in between. And uh, do I talk about you know like like a commentary like I, like I am right now? Do I talk to you guys about a number of things? So I don't know really know what to do. If you guys can pull me in the right direction, I would really really appreciate it because I want to do this, and I know it would be a lot of fun to do and a lot of fun for you guys to watch. So uh, I might try and do one of these uh, one of these tips videos for uh, live commentary. Who knows? And, uh, if the score is good enough, <laughs> anything's possible. So, uh, with, with that in mind, I would probably be playing with, uh, with some people whenever I do play for these, for these, like, these gameplays and these live commentaries. And, uh, the only thing I can think of is to, you know, have it to where my PVR records game chat, you know, so they, you guys can hear them as they talk in game. And, uh, so it doesn't sound like I'm getting like asked random questions or saying this and that to, like random people, you know. So I don't sound insane. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, with all that said, I don't really have anything else to say about the live commentary thing. And uh, I'm planning on going ahead right now and start talking to you guys about uh, salt kill streaks. Woo! What about them? So where do I get started? TDM, because uh, that's what I play mostly, and that's what a lot, that's what a lot of you guys play when you first start playing the game. And I'll start there, and I'll work my way on to like more sophisticated game modes and whatnot. And uh, so for TDM, the only way you can get points is by killing and or assisting if you have Hardline Pro. And uh, if you guys are running with a big team, I would say with four or five or six members in a party, then uh, that's what I mean about, about with like a big team. You know, four or five or six friends in your party. And like you know, you don't want to have like five randoms like I do in this game. And uh, so, if you with a bigger party, you want to run lower kill streaks and kill streaks that don't have conflictions. And what I mean by that is, if I'm playing with a number of friends, the last thing I want to run is an attack chopper, because I call one in, and my asshole teammate, you know, while he is my best friend, he might have that fucking attack helicopter up, and that's gonna piss me off. And uh, it'll get you less kills, it'll get you less points, and you'll be stuck. And, uh, especially if, uh, if that attack chopper is, is holding you back from your, from your AC-130, it's gonna fuck you over. So, uh, for starters, don't run a kill streak higher than 9 in TDM. That's just my opinion. Let's say the highest you should go is, like, a Reaper. And the reason for that is, you know, you have to go to get it. And, uh, every kill you get is one less for your team. Every, t every, t every kill your team gets is one less for you. So keep that in mind, you know, if your teammates are... Are not oblivious like mine are. Uh, it'll be harder to get a lot of kills. Next, you want to have, uh, like I said, kill streaks that don't conflict. Kill, kill streaks that you can just keep cycling. That's why I have a precision on right now, 
And, uh, you know, while, while they are entirely useless, and I think I only have, like, you know, 15, 20 kills with them, you know, and, like, 40 uses, I still have them on because I can still get a couple kills here and there, and I can keep cycling that UAV pred, UAV pred, UAV pred. And I think it's really, really useful. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to bring this mentality of kill streak cycling to you know, everybody I can. And uh, I, I have friends who are trying to go for uh, for 18 kill streaks, you know, and AC 130s and whatnot. Like my friend Cody has a couple hundred kills off of the gold skulls for the AC 130 already. He's 10th 80, believe it or not. And uh, you know he's gonna run that nonstop until he gets that gold skull uh, title. So I don't know what he's gonna do after that. Hopefully he doesn't run any more big kill streaks because it hurts us, Cody. It hurts us inside, especially when you're playing TDM with us. Um, well, all joking aside, um, keep the low kill streaks on if you're, if you're playing TDM, especially when you're playing with friends. And if you're playing domination, you can so you can go ahead and get put as big of a kill streak as you want on, you know. Because with domination, demolition, headquarters, all those, capturing an HQ, capturing a flag, planting a bomb, defusing a bomb gets you one more point. And these are point streaks. Keep that in mind. So you know you can go ahead and get your UAV by capturing a flag, and uh, supp supplementing that with like the kills you get in between running the flags. And uh, it makes it makes getting a Reaper that much easier. It makes getting, you know, AC 130s possible. And uh, don't be afraid to set kill streaks that you're you're able to get easily. You know, Modern for 3, the kill streak cycle in Modern for 2, you can run 3, 4, 5, get that, you know, every life a game and be stuck. In this game, you can get that an infinite amount of times per life. And uh, you're only held back by, you know, your ability to keep yourself going and having having like the amount of kills you need to keep that kill streak going. So uh, that's all I have to say, you know, for for that. This game's basically over. Hope you guys liked what I had to say about the assault kill streaks, and hopefully you guys will try and do what I did because uh, I'm pulling some ridiculous scores, and I think you guys will benefit extremely uh, from using these. And uh, thanks guys for watching, and as always, fuck you, pay me.